Radical Art in the Red Decade is the name of an art exhibition that was recently held near Chicago. There are hundreds of artists gathered to create a left-wing union with social conscience. Our correspondent Clara Ibarra has the story. The Left Front, Radical Art in the Red Decade, 1929-1940, is an art exhibition that began at the Mary and Lee Museum near the city of Chicago and soon will be touring the U.S. The show looks at a moment in U.S. cultural history when artists joined forces to form a left front and make socially conscious art available to more people. We talked to Jill Bugaski, one of the curators of the exhibition. The Red Decade revisits a, um, a period in the United States history that was filled with turmoil, both economic and social turmoil. It was the decade that followed the Great Depression, the stock market crash of 1929, and uh, at this period, with so many people out of work and such a feeling of desperation um, in the general economy um, and in the world, these artists that we represent uh, banded together as social activists to advocate for workers and working class rights to, um, to maybe question whether the capitalist system that had got us into this terrible depression was fulfilling its promises to the average American people. The exhibition is built around two artist groups, the John Reed Club and the American Artist Collectives. Both had a strong affiliation for the socialist practices of the Soviet Union who appeared to be succeeding at a moment when the United States capitalist system was faltering. The exhibition touches upon subjects such as class struggle, racial equality, workers' rights, and technology. A lot of people don't realize this, but so much of this labor organizing that happened in the 30s and even in the 20s um, is, is what gave us the laws that provided the foundation for prosperity in the post-war period. Things like the eight-hour workday, the uh, child labor laws, um, social security, pensions. The cause for, of worker rights really is something that's benefited um, everyone in the long 20th century. These prints were the viral media of the 1930s. Like this, there was such an important idea about production and dissemination. And this is really the roots. These are the grandfathers of of the art for the masses movement. Print democracy was a hugely important question in the 1930s and these artists sought to make as many prints as possible for a, a really affordable economic price so that they could reach as many people as possible. The issues that were relevant questions in the 1930s recession are still valid today. Now we're facing the second a large recession in this country um, since the 1930s and um, these issues I feel like are rearing their heads again so it's important for the show to 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 look back on this to look at it in a new frame and to e examine some of these questions and these images with an eye to how it can help us think differently about the present moment or what kind of questions do these artworks prompt that might help us get at a better understanding of what's happening now and how to move forward. Like the artists of the Red Decade, today social movements in the U.S. continue to use art and technology as their main weapon for social change. The recent Occupy Wall Street movement denouncing economic inequality and the most recent protests in Ferguson, Missouri against the death of an African-American young man by the police are only a couple of examples of how organizers keep the legacy of the left front alive through art. This is Clara Ibarra with Carolina Crone, Telesur, New York.